Local research may offer a different look at the oil spill crisis in the Gulf of Mexico. This is new video that offers a better perspective of what's really happening underwater. There it is. Just look at the oil gushing from that blown out well. Aaron Hartness reports UNC researchers have found a way to demonstrate one of the problems with cleanup. UNC researchers say these pictures can't show the whole problem. Some uncertainty there for sure. That's because of what's going on below the surface. UNC math professors believe they've found a way to recreate what's happening. Bottom is very salty. This tank is a mini replica of the Gulf, with heavier water on the bottom and lighter water on the top. Because it's warmer and, and, and on the top, the water's going to be less dense. The red dyed alcohol represents oil. You can see, see it's not bubbles. all rising to the top, but instead mixes with cooler, heavier water and gets trapped under the warmer water. Researchers believe the speed at which the oil is being released is part of the reason it's mixing to create oil plumes. If you were to release uh, uh, the oil at a much lower speed, it would just make uh, bubbles of oil. Those bubbles would rise to the top. These researchers aren't yet sure what will happen to the oil stuck below the surface. It's uh, anybody's guess what's going to happen next. In the interior part of the ocean, the farther, the deeper you go, the more difficult it is to tell where that water's actually going and where it will carry the oil. Marine scientist professor John Bain says it's possible the loop current, also known as the Gulf Stream, could carry oil to North Carolina's coast. Bain says if that happens, it could take as long as six or seven weeks to get to our state, which would give it time to disperse. I don't think the impact on a North Carolina beach would be some giant uh, pool of, of black crude oil arriving at the beach. And right now, nobody knows for sure if any oil from the Gulf will arrive in North Carolina at all. Aaron Hartness, WRL News, Chapel Hill. And those professors you just saw in the story also took a look at the video released by BP. From that video, they estimate about 56,000 barrels of oil are leaking every day. That's more than 2 million gallons and more than 10 times the amount originally released by BP.